Hi, this is Shadi. Injuries in the grappling world are simply inevitable. However, injury from injury, they differ. It can be incredibly mild and it can be career ending. So today when I say injuries, let's not go directly to the far part of the spectrum, which is ACL tears and all these career ending injuries that are happening all the time in the grappling world but i'm talking about injuries like falling down in a very awkward position um, trying to attempt a throw or someone falling on you after attempting a throw and of course there is the ground uh, grappling that we do so today what i want to talk about is flexibility and how it can help now usually when we think about flexibility we think about a very static and boring and painful type of exercise however and recently there is a lot of stuff that are coming out that's showing that this is not necessarily the case or it doesn't have to be uh, this way so you obviously heard of Milo of Croton which is this analogy in front of you so the heavier things get and you adapt to them the stronger your body becomes not only you build more muscle but also your bone density increases so the same way you're doing for your muscle mass and your bones you can do for your ligaments and tendons and this is exactly what we're going to be talking about today so a lot of you i'm sure uh, they use some strength to resist a submission or they try to create a less bend on their joint and thus maybe getting away with it but also you hear a lot about you know there are some people their muscle mass increased but their tendons and ligaments did not keep up and hence the injuries usually it happens with people who take steroids or performance enhancing drugs so recently athlean x um posted this study and he was talking about in his video you don't need to stretch about how you can include the stretching within the exercise and this is something that's very important and i really wish he went way more with it because the same way you add load on uh, your exercises to build more muscle and strength you can add more load to actually build more flexibility and strength in the tendons and ligaments here is ben patrick from knees over toes he's showing some of the uh, ways you can actually do that so here for example the gluteus maximus uh, or the glutes you can simply uh, put your leg in this position and uh, hold the dumbbell or without the dumbbell first and then adding weight progressively you can also do this statically as a lot of us do and think this is only how stretching is done so this one here obviously the heavier the dumbbells it the bigger the split or the bigger the stretch and you can progress to it and get uh, more stretch in your adductors and in your groin uh, this type of principle will apply for any other place in your body so another thing that ben patrick does is uh, this way where you can actually uh, stretch your quad and the patellar tendon of your knee by simply putting your back on the wall with your leg in this position and squeezing your glutes also the same way for your adductors uh, this is a great way to get your hips flexible but also your adductors uh, as well so you can progress to these i strongly suggest that you watch these types of videos um, for your patellar tendon for your shoulders for your hips for your groin any type of place in your body that can have a serious injury so again they can be medicated or they can be easily preventable not all of them so here is also flexibility maestro on instagram all the links are in the description below he's showing how you do like a front split and how you can progress to it here he's showing that you can have some type of uh, support if you can't uh, catch your balance and then you can easily let go and afterwards you start adding more load so the same way you are adding weight to your exercises you can do the same for your flexibility uh, example here when paulo fought thai everyone lost their mind of how did he not tap to the knee bar and not only that but he was standing after the fight and also won the fight so 
it's not just for kicking and striking the flexibility is being done but also big and strong grapplers do it as well here you might find yourself in this position and being flexible and having strong ligaments and tendons will easily make things better will this make you bulletproof to injuries of course not can they be prevented or become far less dangerous absolutely the same way you train your muscles which will result in a bigger bone uh, mineral bone density the same way with this type of training so you can easily add load to the way you are um, stretching the way you are being bent um, you can do that with the rope machine at the gym you can do that with dumbbells you can do that with elastic bands and you can set goals and but not only that it doesn't have to be done every single day a lot of people say you have to stretch every day because your body will just go back to how it was but with this type of training progressive overload the same way you can actually rest and do it two to three times a week as long as you're progressing you're gonna be healthier and have far better joints now personally i do believe that technique is above everything and if you have tons of strength without the technique it's not gonna do you any good in the grappling world but strength plus flexibility on top of the technique study and practice will create a not only a great grappler but also a very healthy grappler now all of us we talk about doing this till the day we die till the wheels fall off but you have to do these things in order to get you uh, in a good body for you to constantly keep doing these so uh, not only you should be doing calisthenics or uh, weight training or these exercises that are done as a warm-up where you hold each other you squat someone is on your back you do uh, you walk on all four limbs or someone is on your back you do push-ups whatever it may be or also simply going to the gym all these can help build a tough physique but of course let's not forget the technique because that's what matters most um, but also the same way where you can actually help include increase flexibility and also make it fun it's not just this static way that we know about stretching it's it can be done by progressive overload the same way in the gym so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content but my main content will always be here on this channel so if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening